At the maternity hospital, they brought me a baby with a different name. But as it turned out, my mother-in-law named my son Ebenezer, in honor of her dead ex. Let's figure it out at home. <laughs> as soon as I walked into the apartment, I saw a photo booth with the inscription. Welcome to the world, baby Ebenezer. Hmm. Rose, my mother-in-law, invited every single relative and thanked me for naming the baby after her ex. I'll talk to her. She just really misses my father. I couldn't stand it and demanded it to be removed. Jack walked to the photo booth, but... All of a sudden, Rose showed up with a photographer. Hmm. Take a picture of me with my favorite boys. Jack couldn't say no to her. He posed for the photo. But the baby started crying. I went to the bedroom to feed the baby. But was unable to due to the stress. At that moment, Rose entered the room with an artificial feeding device. Grabbed the baby and started feeding him. Grandma won't let you starve. Jack didn't stand up for me. Quite the opposite. He praised Rose. What a wonderful grandmother he has. At the end of the party, my mother-in-law handed Jack some keys and proudly announced to everyone that she had bought us a house. However, there was a condition. She would leave there with us. I will watch over them to make sure they don't spoil my Ebenezer. The guests laughed and applauded. That was too much. I told Jack to return the keys and walk the guests out. <gasps> Instead, he took me aside and said that he couldn't argue with his mother. Jack ended up confessing that he had lost his job and that we were leaving at Rose's expense. We can't afford this apartment anymore. So we have to accept mom's offer and take the keys. My husband told me to pack my bag so we would move into the new place. While the moving truck was jammed with our stuff, I told Jack that I wasn't going because Rose would destroy her family. I suggested leaving in a trailer, but Jack refused. We will be better in that house. It has a lot of rooms. Mom won't bother us. When you get over it, come join us. I was left alone with the baby. I quickly cleaned up the mess. And away from prying eyes, I started feeding again. In order to be fully happy, I needed my husband. 
I wore Jack's shirt so my son wouldn't forget his father's smell. But when the smell started to disappear, someone knocked on the door. Jack was standing there, asking me to take him back. As it turned out, Rose brought a new daughter-in-law into the house. Because she thought I was defective. Rose preferred to see Jack with this girl, who was quite obedient and worked at my mother-in-law's company. At that moment, Jack realized what I meant. I said I wouldn't let our family be destroyed. So, can I come in? I agreed to let Jack come back on one condition. He would have to find a job and repay the debt to his mother. We celebrated our son's first birthday in our own apartment without any furniture yet, but free of debts. We invited Rose to the party, in our house, under our rules, and she followed them. Happy birthday, dear Leo. Happy birthday to 